Sissy! Have we got for some domestics? <laughs> oh! oh. So, now look what you've done, honestly. <laughs> you can't take you anywhere. I nearly had a flush. Um, oh, I say, Ada, the magic of travel. Ada, look at all these lovely places. New Guinea, New Jersey, New York, New Zealand. Where do you want to go, Chuck? New Brighton. <laughs> We've gone there for 22 years to Elsie Gartside. She keeps a lovely table. She doesn't charge action for the cruet. We always use the Mycene tureen for the soup. She's spotless. She changes the beds every day. She's had new oil cloth put down in the lobby. <laughs> and on the landing, she's got it all done now in that beautiful anaglypter in burnt sienna. <laughs> and in the dining room near those pop mallards she got from that shop in Bogley, there's a beautiful mural on the wall. <laughs> the death of Lysander in Dulux. <laughs> I really don't know why I waste my time with you, Ada. I really don't. The inside of your head can only be described as a cultural desert. <laughs> now, forget all about Elsie Gartside. Come and sit down. It's time you broadened your horizons. That's why I'm wearing this new roll on. <laughs> Put it everywhere. I've done nothing today. I've not a pot washed or a sausage pricked. I've done nothing. <laughs> I don't know where you want to go abroad. They're all foreigners. Foreign, foreign, foreign. Oh, but I... I mean, they've got so much to offer, Ada. <laughs> Such as? Well... Look at Rome, for instance. We could go on a river cruise. <laughs> we could go on the Po. <laughs> I'm not going all that way for that. <laughs> we had one, but I would Fred chip the rim. <laughs> <laughs> now, then, what about this one? Oh, there. Now, oh, this looks nice. What's that? Espanol. <laughs> Four nights holiday in San Jan and San Jose. <laughs> Honestly, Ada, you're hopeless. It's San Juan and San Jose. Help me God. Yes, in Spain, they always pronounce the J's as H. When do you think we should go, Chuck? Last week in Hoon and the first week in Hulan. <laughs> I don't see why we can't go back to New Brighton. I like New Brighton. I feel happy there. You can see the ships coming across the moors in the ferry. And there's something I've never told you. Not a living soul. <laughs> My lips are sealed. <laughs> Bert and I had our honeymoon in New Brighton. Oh, really? Yes, at number 23, Sea View Guest House. Back Gas Street. <laughs> we went in October because it's always easy to get a deck chair then. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose you could say it's when I fully became a woman. <laughs> this is all news to me, Ed. <laughs> Tell me something, Chuck. Were you. Were you. Uh, Virgo intact? Uh? <laughs> No, just bed and breakfast. <laughs> just two nights, ten and sixpence. <laughs> so you weren't full bored? No, he got drunk both nights and fell asleep. <laughs> I, I quite enjoy sitting on a coach, you know, and seeing all the places of interest. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Yes. <laughs> yes. What about the Dolomites? Well, if they start playing me up, I'll sit on a rubber ring. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I don't know where I am with you now. You've got me all confused. Look about this cruise. Now, that would be nice. Look. Oh, look, just imagine the starlit night. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, the gentle roll of the ship. The white horses leaping across the horizon. The surge of excitement as the ship plunges into the bright. The constant drum of the engine. Seven 
courses of exotic food. <laughs> oh, something got I felt me going over then. Wouldn't do for Bert. Why not? Salt. <laughs> Salt? Salt in the atmosphere. You see, when he was with Montgomery's Desert Rats, in the push from Sidibarani to Benghazi, he was trapped in his Cromwell in the Coppola. <laughs> he was left for dead in a waddy. <laughs> and these rifts, these militant rifts, marauders, picked him up and put him in a banous and took him back to their encampment. <laughs> and they did a lot of things. Never seen feet like it. <laughs> well, ladies, have you uh, decided on anything? New Zealand, New Guinea, Newfoundland, New York, New Brighton. Oh, bless you for that love. Two tickets for Elsie Garth's size and bookers in for the Apollo Ball of the first house. <laughs> <laughs>